this white out. Damn. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you knew it's Sahara. So today we are going to be transforming basically as if I was invited to fashion week and I was going kind of how I would style myself. Most likely if I was going to like Paris fashion week, I feel like this would be a great way to style yourself, especially with this Hey Holly sweater on and this red beret that I'm trying to figure out how would I wear it because I have bangs of course so you can wear it. It's messing with my bangs though, but like hold on. You see you can also like focus it more to the back of the head kind of like off to the side a little bit and then you can paint me like one of your french girls <laughs> if you want to see me create this look because it is it looks so good with the old matte and then the one little shimmer and then this bold red lip please keep watching well, i already went off camera well while i was off camera i applied my p louise base the eyeshadow base in the shade rumor number three let's go in with the makeup revolution palette and this, this is the reloaded vitality palette i'm just going to mix together these two i'm doing this look that well like i haven't done this look a thousand times on my channel before the fourth of july last year or memorial day it was memorial day and it's like a cut crease smoky eye but i think i'm gonna add a little bit more red to the eye than i did for that look And also kind of like winging them out. Willy Wonka palette next. And then I'm going to take this shade right here called Toffee. And then I'm going to apply that in the crease as well. And then going back in with that other eyeshadow brush and blending these together. I'm going to go in with the deepest chocolatey one called Deep Cacao. Right on the outer part. Dang, that almost looked black. I'm going to kind of blend it word and then let's go back in with the other eyeshadow brush to help blend this out the metallic velocity palette <laughs> reloaded metality palette and go back in with those orange tones to help me like further blend these out so now that that's kind of blended out and smoked out i'm gonna go in with the abh eyeshadow primer this is that one that has like a white base to it well it is white <laughs> But it's going to give me a white base. I did not wash any of my brushes from my last video. So now it's hard for me to find brushes. <clears throat> and I'm not cleaning off the lid like I did before. You don't always have to like clean off the lid with micellar water to start fresh when you're doing a cut crease like this. It's just to make sure the eyeshadows don't mix in with the base. And like tint it. As I'm applying this, I'm mostly just kind of like tapping, maybe swiping a little bit, but you don't want to move it around too much to disturb the, um, you know, the eyeshadows around it and to also not move around the lid too much because, you know, I, I just thought about it. I didn't even set the lid so it wouldn't even matter anyway. From the Car Beauty palette. I want to go kind of like I did before with the white eyeshadow first. Here's Divine. Here's Remorse. Remorseless. <laughs> and then tap those in. And with this, I'm just making sure I pick a lot up in the palette and I tap on it so that it doesn't pick up the eyeshadow primer underneath. I'm also going to make sure to tap into the outer part right here. Because sometimes if it's still kind of wet right around here, like where you blend it out to, it'll be hard to blend. I've learned the hard way. I'm going to go back in with deep cacao. So just tapping in a little bit and kind of like feather it on like to the outer part right here. And then you can like turn the brush this way. This just makes sure that it helps to blend. 
but it also doesn't make it harsh. For the shade that I said I want to make it a little bit more red tone than I did before because I think I used a shade like this to blend it back on. We're going to go into Marshmallow Delight. I love taking this shimmer right here from the palette, applying it on the lid, and then applying this on the outer part. Oh my gosh, it just looks so pretty together because the, shim the, sh the, shame. the shimmer in this palette is more of like a rose tone, rose gold. And then blending that shade onto it, this red tone just makes it stand out and pop so much and it's extra pretty. So again, we're just blending it in. And look at how look at how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh. I think I can leave it like this because the crease right here actually looks really good and blend it really well. Sometimes you can take a small brush flat like this and just touch up rose gold shade and apply that on the brow bone. It's called Golden Ticket. Kevin Aquan the Value Mascara and I think I'm just going to apply the Lash Glue Eyeliner from Ioni that um, doubles as an eyeliner and a lash glue so that I could do it like this. We could go in with liner and smoke it out with black eyeshadow but I don't feel like doing that. This look is just so pretty. You don't need to do too much. I'm kind of going to be doing this look kind of based off how I would wear it during fashion week. Oh, by the way, I'm going in with the e.l.f. putty primer. I would also use my e.l.f. gripping primer. That one. can't remember what it's called. But I'm not going to use that today because I'm obviously I'm not going anywhere really. So I want to save that one for the summertime. But that's a great one. You want, especially when you're going to an event, you want your makeup to last long. You don't want it to start breaking apart. I mean, not breaking apart. You don't want it to start separating. I'll be going in with the ABH Luminous Foundation in the shade 355N. Another good foundation that I would recommend for long lasting is to not go in with a liquid foundation and to use like a powder foundation. I do have a routine on my channel, like a powder foundation routine for those of you guys out there that struggle with how to apply powder foundation. This is a um, Japanese sponge and it is toe up. Whenever I wash my makeup supplies, I always wash my sponges with gloves on, plastic gloves, so that my hands don't get shriveled up. And I use hot water when cleaning my brushes. When you wring out your sponge, your nails are digging into your sponge and that's why you get those tears in it. But I guess it tore up anyway. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring out my um, Dollar Tree primer, the one that I love, the pore minimizing one. That one is so good. So products like those, especially when you're going in with a luminous or dewy product and you put a mattifying primer underneath, it can transform that foundation, that Louis. <laughs> into a more like semi matte. I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 2.5W. For cream bronzer, I'm going to use the Merit Foundation Stick in the shade Amber to um, cream contour slash bronze right here on the nose too. I am going to go in with the terracotta blush. I'm going to use my favorite brush that applies this blush specifically perfect. So this is the Color Rain Small Angled Face Brush. ABH Loose Setting Powder to set. So I'm just going to get that ready because a lot of times when I'm waiting around and I don't get that powder ready after I blend this stuff out, it starts creasing so much again. I don't even remember the last time I used a regular sponge like this to blend out my concealer. So who had you guys' favorite look from Fashion Week so far? Me, like Zendaya. Oh my gosh, she had this pretty look with the, um, her bangs. And I was like, she looks like she could literally be in a like a action movie. What was that movie? That one movie? Was it called Electra or something like that? And then there was a movie Kill Bill and A Flux. Okay, so again, I'm just going in with my Laura Mercier, uh, not Laura Mercier, the powder is this? ABH <laughs> in the shade Banana. I have the Maybelline Superstay Powder Foundation in the shade 312. I have not used it in a minute so that's why I'm bringing it back out. Wait a minute, yeah. The um, last video I did I used the Juvia's Place Powder Foundation. I was like, do it again. 
But while I was off camera because my camera had overheated, I went in with these lashes from Ioni. These are so long, so I had to take them off. And then I went in with this style spiky doll light and I have them on right now. For the face, Kevin Aquan Volume 3 palette and we're gonna use the contour shade down here, which is the deepest shade, Sculpting Deep. Sculpt out the face. For blush, I'm gonna stick to this side over here where it's a little bit deeper. It's called Venice or Venice. And I like how the deeper side looks because it's a little bit more like muted and toned down. I have this new brush from the Dollar Tree that I really want to try. It's one of those fancy schmancy <laughs> looking brushes. And I'm going to use the shade uh, Sculpting Medium. Oh yeah, that's oh, I put a little too much. But yeah, this is thin enough to use. It's not as like... It's not fluffy, it doesn't have enough give to it, but it's thin enough to use for the nose. So definitely gonna have to apply a little bit at a time with a brush like this. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Did you guys see how easy that just blended out my nose contour though? Go back in with this powder to clean up underneath. I'm gonna see, can I use it to like tap right here? Making this a multi-use purpose, multi-use. <laughs> Let's go in with a little bit of the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. Just going right here, just a little bit of it. Down the nose. I'm gonna go in with that white shimmer now called Fortune. Right here. And I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner. White is so pretty in the inner corner, especially if you do like a um, like a brown smoky eye or something like that. I don't wanna forget about the eyeliner because I've been forgetting lately to do my beauty marks because this acne job. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in those three spots. TLB, oh, the, the lip bar, lip liner in the shade Straight Living. Oh, I don't know why that lip liner was rolling like that now you already know i want to go in with a nude lipstick but we're going to go in with e mon cosmetics matte red lipstick in the shade vice and i also if i go in really red i want to use my matte cosmetics ruby woo dang oh that is so pretty but i think it's kind of dry <laughs> i don't wear red lipstick anymore like i used to all my red lipsticks are dry and i only have like two well, three, because I have this mini version of this this one. It stinks. It tastes nasty. <laughs> and uh, Mac Ruby Woo. I'm not going to do anything on the waterline or the lash line except for apply some mascara. So I think I'm just going to apply this. Kevin Laquan. Sometimes when you have like a bold lipstick like this, you don't need too much on the eyes anyway. Bangs are banging. Hair is frizzy, but what else is new? <laughs> My hair is like really frizzy right now because these curls are a couple of days old, but... I didn't yet wash my hair, so. And I don't wash my hair like all the time. Like, I take time out because over washing my hair is not good for it. But I put some dry shampoo to give it some life, and it gave it some. <laughs> Except the ends are dead. Dead bit. <laughs> We're going to talk about the outfits. When it comes to the runway especially, I always see a lot of layering. So they can layer with hats, um, outfit itself, or like a jacket thrown over it. So just some looks that we've seen this year that has that style that I was saying, that aesthetic of just layering clothes. I've seen Janet Jackson, Rihanna, Rihanna. Bella Thorne, Naomi Campbell on the runway. And then we also seen Zendaya, and like I mentioned before with the bang, she had two different bang look, but of course the all black ensemble one. For my look, of course, you already know, I have to bring out the sunglasses. Even if I was going somewhere, couldn't leave these sunglasses behind because they're like the vintage vibe. Look at that, they just transform any look. Like you can have the most basic look, but you put these sunglasses on, they are everything. And then I had this itchy, sweat top on sweatshirts like sweater that's what it is it's a turtleneck sweater it literally goes up like this but oh got all makeup all over it it says c'est ravi paris 
say Javi Jari, say Javi Jari, but it is very itchy because how you see it right now with this ribbed is how it feels in the inside. Let me get my red beret very quick. This is the one I got from Forever 21 a long time ago. Oh my gosh, it goes so, ooh, my bangs. No, my name is looking so cute. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. How do you guys wear your berets? You wear it to the side like this, or do you wear yours to like the back or up like this? Anyway, I'm just keeping it like that. And then for the skirt, I do have this one that I just got from Shein. It has this like little cutout with the rib part that you can bring it up. For the jacket that I would layer, wouldn't put it on because it's tight around the arm part anyway. <laughs> when your jackets are tight on the arm but you still want to rock them, throw them over your shoulder. But I have this long one from Misguided. And then I also have these long suede type of heeled boots. I think I got these from ASOS. They're New Look, but they're from ASOS. So New Look is a store in the UK and it's from ASOS. But yeah, that would be my whole like look. And then I have my pearl earrings. I do not wear pearl earrings at all, but for this special occasion, how could you not with an outfit like this wear some pearls? All right. And then for perfume, cause you know we gotta do fragrance when you do outfit. YSL Black Opium Perfume. You wear date night, night out, anything like that. And no, I do not have a bag with me right now. You know what I need to get? I need to get me a small black bag. Something that's kind of plain and basic. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.